everyone and welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be talking about two women that are still influencing young women today in music fashion and in femininity so if you guys enjoy this video do not forget to click the subscribe button join the red ruby club okay if you get it you get it okay and then don't forget to give this video a like a thumbs up and then let me know what you think kind of the dark side and Romeo to Queen of the Dam to the Matrix, they all kind of represent that for me. It's very edgy, it's unique, and it's a little bit dark. And I like that in my music as well. So uh, that I wanted to to do something that people could understand. Aaliyah most definitely made an indelible mark in the world before her untimely passing. Throughout her adolescence, her music style and public persona was dubbed street but sweet. Recognized by her breathy and sultry voice tomboy swagger and a bit of scandal to keep the media streets hot of course <laughs> Aaliyah's debut age ain't nothing but a number was a beautiful introduction but was dubbed a bit safe which makes a lot of sense when you realize a young Aaliyah was only 14 years old despite her youth she had a remarkable feminine spirit that music critic Bruce Britt described as combining schoolgirl charm with urban grit. This young songstress would step out of her safe box and redefine what urban soul would look like. Like the Tejana queen, Selena, she would spend her formative years building a fan base and perfecting her musical craft into superstardom. Ilea's second album, One in a Million, would push the envelope with futuristic production a notable alternative soulful sound and forward-thinking pop heavy focus in the 90s there was a focus on powerhouse vocalist and deep woeful ballads her soft stylistic singing over bass heavy beats would be both celebrated and criticized born in brooklyn new york Aaliyah donna halton and raised in detroit michigan she would be very close to her older brother, Rashad. As a child, she had a pet snake, iguana, and some ducks, showing a fondness for reptiles. She grew up singing in choir and acting in school musicals, playing Annie in elementary. This would eventually lead her to have her first glimpse of artistry when she, at the tender age of 10, performed on Star Search. Going on to sign a record deal at 12 due to her well-connected uncle, Barry Hinkerson, and his then wife, Gladys Knight, she would then be introduced to the disgraced singer R. Kelly. From then on, success was inevitable. Ilea's connection to snakes and the snake aesthetic will show up in her work as a common theme, but it would be much more than just a cute obsession. Snakes represent rebirth, transformation, and healing. And on the negative side, they represent temptation, repressed desires, and betrayal. Eerily, Aaliyah's beginning and her end would be riddled with quote-unquote snakes. As a spiritual totem, snakes represented Aaliyah's inner mystic, notable private public image, and her transition from life to spirit again. As an Aaliyah stan, there's always been a part of her story that feels a bit odd. Her family seemed to, on the surface, be absolutely doting and protective of her. As time revealed, they weren't there to oversee every minute detail of her life, and more so, taught her the value of perfectionism over being a bit more authentic and honest in her music and her image. Ilea's self-titled debut would be the most raw and honest music she ever created. The sound, simply innovative and genre-defining. The music would go on to inspire artists like Zendaya, Victoria Monet, Sierra, Seven Streeter, Rihanna, Ryan Destiny, Janae Aiko, Normani, Tyla, and the list goes on. Well, what besides Aaliyah's great musical catalog and her unfortunate passing um, made her so influential? Well, feminine power may be extremely subtle, it's very moving. Like the mystic feminine archetype, Ilea was actually quite introverted. She had an inner warmth and a deep connection to her inner world. Her vocals would transport you to a 1940s smoky jazz lounge with her long tasseled hair covering her left eye and her hands gently stroking the microphone stand. 
a clear representation of the Chanteuse dark feminine archetype. Yep, Aaliyah had a characteristic smoothness that could only be described as smooth as butter. This is what everyone tried to imitate without result. Eso tan, tan grande hoy. Porque... <laughs> no sé. ¿Te lo hiciste sola? Sí. Estoy maravillada. ¿Cómo hace uno para hacerse eso solo? Muy... <laughs> no sé, no sé. ¿Tú te haces tu propio maquillaje, tu mm -hmm. propio pelo? Todo, todo. Vivacious, curvaceous, and a total sweetheart. Selena would break barriers for Latin music, introducing the world to an entirely undiscovered genre of music, from her iconic disco-inspired fashion, defined curves, and her uh, charitable work, emotive and passionate performances, she would leave an unforgettable legacy. She also would be credited for changing public perceptions of feminine beauty in Tejano music, and for Latin women. Selena would popularize a genre of music that blended Mexican and American culture. The music incorporated R&B, Latin pop, techno, country and Western, disco, and even polka and, wal and waltz music. Before her groundbreaking solo career, she would get her start as a singer in a group called Selena y los Dinos. The group would include her older siblings, A.B. Quintanilla and Suzette Quintanilla. Selena was born in Lake Jackson, Texas, the youngest of her siblings, and she was raised Jehovah Witness. At a young age, she showed a remarkable talent of being able to sing and dance, and her energy was infectious. Um, her father began promoting and pushing her group with her siblings. And from there, we saw the birth of Selena. She would enter a mostly male-dominated genre, Tejano music, which was mostly Spanish language, and that also being her second language with her first knowing English. Um, so there was many different hurdles that she had to overcome in order to become the woman and artist that we know and love today. Selena enfrentaría las presiones del perfeccionismo al igual que Elia. In English, I would say, Selena faced similar criticism to Ilia within her career. At the time, labels and the world would not believe that a woman could be big in Spanish music. Her English tapes as well would be denied. She would have to push through and really make people believe that she was a star. Beyond her strong cultural impact and memorable performances, what is it that would make Selena so influential beyond generations and generations. Like the lover feminine archetype, Selena would embody la pasión, a trademark quality of lovers, the ability to inhabit their bodies, be in touch with their sensuality, and an electricity and joy for connection. It would also be the Madonna dark feminine archetype that would allow her to be so memorable. The Madonna is characterized by being pure and chaste, or at least looking that way. It's clear to me that Selena was more than just a quiet Madonna. I believe cultural and religious conditioning expected her to act and appear like a Madonna and be a role model. And after all, she is a role model. She is a star, and I do believe that her public persona was a representation of a fierce feminine spirit that would go on to influence artists like Cardi B, Becky G, Jennifer Lopez, Selena Gomez. <laughs> 